The Virtual Identity Server Federation Services provides a seamless logon experience for users both on-premise and in the cloud to SharePoint both in the cloud as well as on-premise. Leveraging the Virtual Identity Server and our STS Identity Provider, a single STS can be used to authenticate users regardless of where they reside, multiple Active Directory forests without trusts, LDAP directories, and even SQL databases. Users can now seamlessly access both the on-premise SharePoint as well as the cloud SharePoint seamlessly. Let's see this in action. I have our Virtual Identity Server configured to both proxy Active Directory as well as a SQL database. Both of these users now could access SharePoint and authenticate to SharePoint uh, using one SharePoint instance. I fronted SharePoint with ADFS and Optimal IDM's STS, which is an identity provider. So this is a federated model. So I'm an on-premise user, Mike Brang's in our Optimal IDM Active Directory, and I'm able to authenticate over here to SharePoint, and you can see the, the ADFS trust in the bottom. After I get authenticated into SharePoint, you can see that several claims were issued to SharePoint, one of them being this DG-Marketing Department. It was actually a dynamic group, and it gave me access to this marketing materials uh, document library over here. That actually was issued uh, and surfaced as a claim because my department here is set to marketing. And you can see that DG-Marketing is what uh, I have in terms of a member of. So this is surfaced both as a dynamic group, as a member of, for Mike Brangs, for on-premise applications that you look to member of. This was also then surfaced as a role claim to SharePoint that could be leveraged uh, by SharePoint and used to give access to this marketing materials. So this is great, and let's take the scenario that this is our Optimal IDM's uh, deployment of SharePoint, and I have marketing materials out there, but now I want to offer this to federated users. So let's take Microsoft, for example. They're a partner of ours. We'd like to give them access to uh, our marketing materials as well. Well, we have opened this up now to the integration so that you can also do this based on an incoming claim. So I have fronted SharePoint with ADFS. Any incoming claim, so uh, a user being authenticated by at Microsoft with their Microsoft credentials coming through the ADFS server, if an incoming claim matches their mail being at Microsoft.com, I'm now going to dynamically augment that claim and also make them a part of this DG-marketing department. And therefore, they will also have access to it. How I'm going to demonstrate that is uh, using actually the uh, user identities down here in the SQL database. Of course, these would really be um, users out in the cloud uh, over at Microsoft and authenticating, but that's difficult to do here in a demo. So you'll notice that his mail attribute, john.do at Microsoft.com. So I'm going to log into SharePoint. Again, the STS is going to come up, and it's going to be john.do, and we're going to log in with his credentials. So as this user is authenticated over at Microsoft, comes through our ADFS server, the augmentation will happen by the Virtual Identity Server's STS and a role claim of DG-Marketing Department, and we can see that, came across here. And so by virtue of the fact that his email address was DG-Marketing Department, he has access to the exact same document library that I had access to. So now one security definition can be used to protect and secure both an on-premise as well as a shared uh, SharePoint, both for cloud users as well as on-premise users.